Top 10 Most Expensive Cards in Twilight Masquerade. Let's look at the numbers. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you are doing well. Happy Twilight Masquerade release day. It's the set you guys have all been waiting for. And today we're going to look at the top 10 hottest singles from this brand new set. Before we do that, I'm actually doing a giveaway in this video. I haven't done a giveaway for ages. So Larry is on the loose again. I'm giving away a Twilight Masquerade booster bundle. All you have to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and let me know in the comments once you see Larry pop up. Give me the timestamp there and you'll be entered. Full details are in the caption. So, Twilight Masquerade, these are the pull rates. It looks like it's a pretty brutal set to try and get some cards out of. But we are kicking off with over 14 cards valued over $20. So from a value perspective, it's actually quite good. I'm gonna be showing you the top 10 cards, the top 10 most expensive cards in this set in ascending order. We're gonna be looking at the TCG player price in US dollars. And just to keep things honest, we're gonna fly over to the other side of the pond and look at card market in euros. Don't worry, I will do the conversion for you, my friends. I'll also give you sales volume info from TCG player based on sales today. This is a release day when I'm recording this video. It should be going up in about half an hour to 40 minutes, depending on how quickly I can edit. I literally went through line by line and counted every sale to give you an idea of kind of what's cooking and what's not so that we can try and identify any early market manipulation candidates. As always, the numbers are subject to change because this is release day and prices fluctuate on singles wildly. Anyway, let's get to it. So number 10, kicking us off, we're going to start off with this beautiful Eevee card, an illustration rare. So there are 21 illustration rares in this set. And this card is going at $35 market price. Card market says 32 euros. So it's almost bang on once you do the conversion, keeping each other honest on either side of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, TCG sales uh, volume is 61. This is actually the card out of all the top 10 cards I'm going to show you today that has sold the most copies up to recording this video. I think this is a gorgeous card. I, I really do. It's like the crazy cat lady, but with the EVs all around the house. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is the first card that is going to get pumped up. If you're looking for cards that are going to be manipulated, this would be the one. It's, it's kind of eerily similar to the Ghastly from Temporal Forces. It's a Gen 1 Pokemon that everybody loves. And they've got the element of there being multiple copies of the, of the Pokemon on the same card. All I'm going to say here is like this is a set with some pretty, pretty brutal pull rates for sure, which could be a good thing if you're looking to invest or, or value in your cards. Um, but this card isn't actually that hard to pull. One in every 272 for a specific illustration rare, which would be this one. So don't FOMO too hard on this card. If you see the value start to tick up, just hold your horses, cool those jets. It is going to be okay. Uh, a card that you probably aren't going to FOMO on, number nine here, we've got the uh, Hearth Mask uh, Ogre Porn, uh, sorry, Ogre Porn, Porn of the Brain, uh, TCG Player, uh, $41 here, uh, card market 26. Uh, so it's got a bit further to fall. Uh, 26 euros is 28 US dollars. The total sales volume though, a whopping seven seven cards sold today. People are really banging on the door being like, yeah, we got to get this, uh, this, this one right here. It's the first special illustration rare card we're going to see today. Um, from an art perspective, I have no idea what's happening in this card. I kind of have to look at it a few times and let my eyes focus because it's just a mess. It really is just uh, the, the color contrast is not, not doing it for me from an aesthetic standpoint. My question is, yeah, I know there's four masks for, for Ogapon, but why do we have four friggin' four of these in a set with 11 SIR cards? 36% of these are Ogre Ponds, and they're just the, the ugliest cards I think I've, I've ever seen. You gotta get through 1,000 packs almost to, to pull this specific one. Uh, yeah, there's no chart on card market either because there's so few sales, nobody wants this card. Ditto the Wellspring Ogre Pond. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, 41 bucks, card market says 36 euros, so it's about the same. Uh, there's 15 sold today of this one, so people might like it a little more. Honestly, I'm looking at my deck here. I just, I cannot focus on what's going on here. Like, uh, maybe there's some playability. People are putting one or two of these in their deck. Uh, kind of a weird uh, play dynamic from my understanding. I like cards that tell a story. I like cards that make me feel an emotion. Uh, this one just makes me want to throw up because, I, yeah, I'm getting, getting dizzy looking at it. Again, nothing on card market for this one because no one's buying them. Okay, we got a supporter card. We got a trainer here. Uh, Lana's Aid in at number seven. 
TCG Player says this is a $47 card. Card Market says it's almost the same, and there's been eight of them purchased today. This is a light-hearted card. It's a nice C, and everyone likes Lana, right? I enjoy it. The art style is a little bit basic for, for my taste, but it's still a pretty card. My favorite part of it is, is the whooper that is just chilling right there in the background. I like the way it's just kind of floating backwards, like it can almost float away. But yeah, I like these candid scenes with the, with the trainers. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, number six, the number sixth most expensive card is the Buddy Buddy Poffin. Uh, TCG player says it's a $52 card. Card market says it's not quite that valuable, my friends. 19 sold today. Uh, it's a hyper rare, it's an item card. I don't really care about it. I do care about number five though. So Perrin, TCG player says this Perrin card is $53. Card market has a, a little bit higher of a price for it, 57 euros, which is about $61 US. Very car hard card to pull, according to the pull rate data, and 29 of them sold today. There's only one card in the set that I'm gonna show you that has been uh, purchased more than this in the SIR slot. So by itself, this is a beautiful card. Uh, with the Growlithe, which is an illustration rare, which I put to the side there because it doubles up. This really is, like, an, I've made fun of some of the other cards, but this is where Pokemon becomes transcendent when it comes to the TCG. Like, it really does. Like, the way the light is coming through the through the trees at the scene behind them, the way they are both looking at each other, you know, you're getting their POV, the, the Growlithe reflected in the lens of the camera, the look in her eyes, his smile. It's just incredible. It really is. I'll be picking this card up, um, both of these cards. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. They, they really are. I think this is a card that will will hopefully get appreciated as much as it deserves. I really do love it. Uh, but now we're, we're smack back to Ogapon. It's Teal Mask. $65 apparently on TCG Player. Card Market says it's worth basically half that. Uh, nine of them purchased today. Uh, once again, I have no idea what's going on in this card. It's very hard to look at. Maybe you guys like this card. If you do, if you like the style of art, let me know. That's that's cool. I'm sorry if I'm offending you, but uh, this is this is just not not doing it for me. Uh, and then we get to uh, the Ursa Luna card. This Ursa Luna card is a little bit controversial. So number three on the most expensive list. TCG player has it as a $72 card. Card market has it basically the same once you do the conversion, a few dollars off. And there's been nine of them purchased today. It's a hard one to pull as well. I don't really have anything great to say about this card. I'm still trying to make my mind up on it. I have a friend though that I talk to quite often here in, here in my city, awesome guy called Mitch. He messaged me on this card, completely unprompted by the way. I didn't ask him for this feedback. He said, I was so looking forward to a nice alt of this cool Pokemon and they butchered it. He looks like he just went for a manicure and the Munchlax has pink eye from sticking his face in the bear's ass. What a disappointment. They need to fire the artist. So many cool things they could have done with this Pokemon. Mitch, that's an incredible thing to just write me out of the blue. And uh, yeah, let me know if you, if you guys are watching what you think of that. By the way, like and subscribe if you think the Munchlax has Pink eye really mean a lot to me. Uh, number two, the most second most expensive card in the set is Carmine. It's our waifu, the waifu hunters. Your hearts are starting to race. There she is, guys. There she is. TCG player has it at $73. Card market says it's actually probably worth a couple of bucks more than that. And there's been 30 of them purchased today. So it is the highest volume in the SIR slot. Objectively, this is a beautiful card. Right, the, the way that the, the festival lights are glowing behind her, um, the, the colors, it really is a very warm, uh, kind of that quintessential anime kind of feel to it. It's, it's really gorgeous. I know it's the festival, I know they eat these candy apples at these things, but um, why do they, like, I, I always get down on this waifu stuff, sorry to get on my soapbox, but why is she like that? Like, she's about to freaking suck a dick. Like, this is weird. Like, it really is. Like, this is just, it's an odd angle for that thing, that the way that they, they put the shape and the shine on it, Maybe I've just got a perverted mind. I don't know. But this just this pandering to this kind of waifu thing, like there's so many other ways that they could have positioned that candy apple. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's not a huge deal to you guys, but it just, just puts me off the card. It really does. Uh, it really it really puts me off it. Uh, some honorable mentions, though, on the uh, on, on this side of things. The Dragapult EX. This is the completely busted card. It's broken. It's going to destroy the meta. Like I've been looking at decks and reading thumbnails that YouTube is targeting me for on this one. 27 bucks. It looks pretty cool. It's, it's supposed to be destroying everything. And then this Chansey is just really sweet. You know, I'm, I'm Gen 1, Gen 2. Go back to that. 
uh, you know, drop in the books or the pizza boxes, whatever the hell that thing's carrying. Uh, Snorlax is in there, Psyduck, it's a little ditto. It's 11 bucks. I'll probably snap this one up too, just for the PC. It's, it's a really cute little card. I like it when Chansey uh, pops out. And that brings us to number one, the most expensive card, the hottest single in the set. Drum roll, number one, Greninja. EX, look at this absolutely stunning freaking card. Like they just captured it perfectly. Like in that moment of battle, incredible. Uh, TCG player has this at 133 bucks. Card market says it's probably closer to 90. 17 of these sold today. So people have been ripping this over the last little bit. Uh, it's gorgeous. They really did Greninja right on this card. The texturing is nice. Uh, yeah, TCG player is coming down a bit. I think it's 109 uh, last sold. There are two listings way above market way way above market so watch out for the manipulation piece on this there's a low sales volume so this is one that could potentially spike up uh if it, if it happens but greninja what a what a wait what's that it's the wrong one what do you mean this one that's not a good oh oh well, there he is there is, there is a good ninja in there. So you guys thought I got the wrong card. Obviously I didn't, that was a joke, but uh, yeah, this Greninja here, this is the actual card. The other one's the Shroud, Shroud of Fable promo, uh, but it is pretty awesome. But this card here, I really haven't made up my mind on it. I, I haven't, I actually put it out to my followers on Instagram. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you use Instagram, please do. I asked them in my stories what they thought of it. And it was kind of a mixed reaction. Um, a lot of people saying, yeah, I love it. It looks really cool. A lot of people saying, meh, or like don't really like it. Um, and one guy said, uh, the background looks like a pizza exploded, which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, it kind of does look like a pizza you might have eaten and thrown up after a night out of the club which is like at the club like 15, 20, 25 years ago, something like that for me. Uh, this is supposed to be the top chase card in the set. Let's see how things pan out on this card. I'm still not quite sure about it. It looks more like a full art to me. One thing's for sure though, the Kingdra leak that they put out today is absolutely friggin' breathtaking. What a gorgeous card. So looking forward to seeing more on that one. Anyway, guys, what do you think of the set? What do you think of the top 10 most expensive, the hottest singles out there? Which cards are you targeting? Which cards are you skipping? Did you find Larry in the video? If not, go back and find him. Until next time, guys, take it easy.